Best Dog Hike San Diego. Yes, this is Cowles Mountain on the eastern end of the city of San Diego and actually the highest point in the city of San Diego, not in the county. And I think the best trail for hiking with your dog. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to have some tips. I've been taking my dogs up there for a dozen years and I'll give you some of my tips so uh, not only you enjoy the hike, but your dog enjoys it as well. This is the Barker Way Trail. It comes up the east side of Cowles Mountain and naturally it's off of Barker Way is the name of the street. And you see it splits off pretty close to the beginning and one side is much shorter, but it's also a narrower trail and I wouldn't recommend it for dogs because of rattlesnakes. So take the trail that's marked in yellow and then at the top, the front trail also meets the Barker Way Trail at the front and uh, you can see the marker at the top of the hill, but this is the best trail for dogs. Okay, here we are going to go up Calls Mountain. This is the best way to go up. It's the Barker Way Trail. Here's the first turn off on the trail. If you go up this way, the Barker Way Trail, a lot more steps involved. You can see people going up the trail there. It's not good for dogs in my opinion, especially with rattlesnakes because the trail is way too narrow. So I stick on the main route here. Mentally I divide it into thirds. This is the first third that we're on. And it's uh, it's pretty steep. Well, maybe not steep, but it's constant angle going up. But you see the trail is nice and wide. So at this time of day, the rattlesnakes are usually around the bushes and stuff, and you can see them. One of the reasons I would never have a dog on a leash of more than six feet. Rattlesnakes are not going to bother you. You just don't want your dog running up to them or being stepped on by you. Nice wide trail because it's used to access the microwave tower at the top. And it's 1.6 miles one way to the top. Now I always wait for late in the day things to cool off a little bit. And also, if you look over at the hill, you'll see we walk up pretty much in shadow because the sun's setting in the west. We're walking up the east side. So it's perfect for dogs. Plus, this water's not for me, it's for the dog. I stay hydrated. Gotta make sure you bring water.
You can see the microwave towers up at the top there. That's pretty much the top of the hill. And as I said, I mentally divided into thirds, kind of like an exercise machine. Start off tough. The second third, pretty level, couple of inclines, so a resting period. Then you come to the third third, and that's a killer because you're already tired from the first two, and it's real steep. That's the steepest part of the trail. And also, if you time it right, you can catch the sunset, which is also great. So here we are at the second stop. And you can see, now you can see a little big piece of Lake Murray out there. Okay, we're going to continue back up. Still on the first one-third. Okay, still on the first one-third. Here you can see we're higher. Get a much better view of Lake Murray and the dam and what the city looks like. We still got a ways to go. We're about halfway up to first third. Well, still working on the first one third. As I said, it's a tough one. There's always people out here, but nothing like the front. The front is crowded, noisy, and really not for going up with dogs. Okay, let's continue. Okay. We're approaching what most people think is the end of the first third. For me, I don't. The trail takes a 90 degree turn to the west here. The hardest part of the first third is over, but the trail and the incline is still going up. So I consider the end of the first third just about 100 feet in front of those people in front of me, right at that rise. And then we saw it, the second third, or what I call the cool down phase. Okay, we're standing right at the apex, the end of the first third, the beginning of the second third, at least in my mind. And you could see Lake Murray and the dam and almost all of San Diego laid out. I don't know if you can see it here, but you can see the trail continuing on up, doing that big Z over there. So now we're on the cool down second third. We're still on the second third. It's pretty flat, but near the end of the second third, you have a couple of steep parts. They're, they're not too tough. And then you get up to where I call the corral, the end of the second third, and the beginning of the last third, which is really tough. So let's continue on. Okay. We're coming next to one of the first of two wood fences. And this is the beginning of the end of the second third. And the, that incline, you see people going up there. That's the last of it. When you get to the top, it's another wooden fence. And that's the end of the second third beginning of the last third. Okay, here we come up to the end of the second third it's at this wood fence right here. Keep in mind, I'm holding this selfie stick with the camera on this usually the same hand as the leash. So it's getting bounced around a lot. We'll stop here and take a look. The trail keeps going. That's the last third, and it is steep. You can see people up there. Here's where we are now. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. Come on. Have some more. I'm going to make it. Not as fast as you. 
Not as fast as you. <laughs> There's my sister right here. Oh. The black side. That's her husband right there on the other side. How you doing? This is, this is Bob and Annie. Say hi, Annie. Oh, you remember her name. <laughs> of course I do. Hi, Annie. She's excited. She's three years old. Three. 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 <laughs> Taco Pudo? No. No. Airedale Terrier. Oh, Terrier? Yeah. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah. Her, her room. Room. Uh, the nose is like this. Oh, uh, plus black and tan. Yeah. Yeah. Her her roommate's ninety nine pounds. Oh yeah. Ninety nine pounds. Well, not her. She's she's fifty five. Take right. care, guys. Come on, Annie. See, this is steep, this last third, it's a killer. Okay, nearing the end of the last third. This is where the back trail, the Barker Trail, meets the front trail. See the people walking over there, that's the front trail. Okay, you can see Lake Murray in the distance. Little cloud bank here, but the hills to the south, that's Tijuana. Let's see what time it is. 7.29, August 13th. Okay. We still got the end of the last third in front of us. So let's continue on. Okay, this is the first flat. You can see the end, the top. Coming up this way on the right is a little viewing and resting place. On the left is the marker and the exact top of the hill. So here you can see all we came up. So let's continue on to the top. sun setting down there. A little blocked by the cloud bank.
It's all pretty much decomposed granite, so you want to make sure you have good hiking shoes here. It gets very slippery. People are spraining or breaking ankles here almost every week. Life flight comes in to take them out. Okay, if you're still with me, here's the wrap-up for our best dog hikes in San Diego. And by far, uh, I think nothing can beat this Cow's Mountain back trail called Barker Way. It's nice and wide. It's made for vehicles to access the microwave tower up at the top. And uh, you don't have to worry like on the front trail, which is so narrow and crowded and people talking all the time. You always have to pull your dog over so people can pass by. Now, if you time it right, you check uh, uh, for sunset uh, when you're going, you can time it, figure, hey, I'm an old guy. It takes me about 50 minutes to get up to the top with the dogs. So you can get up there for, for sunset, and then you got to head right back down so you're not walking in the dark, or take a headlamp with you just in case. Now, the big thing here is just like the sign says, don't, whatever you do, take your dog in the middle of the day. It's too damn hot. They got fur coats on and they're gonna try and keep up with you and you're gonna end up killing your dog. There was one lady had a young German Shepherd a year or two ago going up the front way and it died from dehydration. So come on, uh, go up the back way right before sunset so you're going in the shadow just like I do all the time. And take plenty of water for your dog. Uh, I stay very well hydrated, I don't need any water for this. But the dog does. I give him breaks going up. I give him breaks coming down. So he has, or sure, she has plenty of water. And uh, keep an eye on the side of the trail uh, to make sure that uh, there are no rattlesnakes over there or try and stay more toward the center of the trail. But always keep an eye out for that. And lastly, get a good pair of hiking shoes so you don't slip or sprain an ankle on the trail. And lastly, hey, have a great hike. Thanks for watching.